Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set Microsoft Teams to always open files in their respective desktop application. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now, as you're probably familiar with, Microsoft Teams by default is set to open files when you click on them in Teams, meaning that when I click on any of these files, either Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft Word documents, or PowerPoint files, it's just going to open this file for editing within the Teams app itself. So I'll go ahead and click on this PowerPoint file, and this is going to allow me to edit the file right within Teams. So I don't actually have to leave and open up the PowerPoint desktop application. I can just make my edits in here. Now, for a lot of people, this is somewhat of an inconvenience. And the good news is, is that Microsoft released the feature where you can actually change the default settings so that it opens right in the desktop app. That feature was pushed out earlier this year. Now, if you do want to change the default setting, there are two ways that you can do it. The easy way that you can do this is you can just place your cursor over any file that's stored within a team and click on the show actions button here, the three dots, and then place your cursor on the open option. Now in this menu, you can select how you want to open this file. So you can see here that the default setting is edit in teams. Alternatively, you could open in browser or you could open in the application. Now you'll notice this last option that reads change default. If you go ahead and click on this, this is going to allow you to change the default setting for Word docs, PowerPoint files, and Excel files. So if you want to force Teams to always open those files in the desktop application, for example, then you wanna go ahead and check desktop app and you wanna click save. And now every time you try to open an Excel file, a Word file, or a PowerPoint file, it's automatically going to open those files in the desktop application. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open this PowerPoint file here, and I'm just going to click on the file name. And you can see now that the prompt is displayed that says we're opening PowerPoint. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. And you can see here that Microsoft Teams opened the file directly in the PowerPoint desktop application. Now I'll go ahead and close this file. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll just click on this Word doc and you can see here, same idea. It automatically force opened this file in the Word desktop application. And if I go ahead and click on this Excel file and click OK, you can see here that the file again was opened directly in Microsoft Excel. All right, now that is the easy way to change the default. Just a quick recap, so you wanna place your cursor over any file that's stored in Teams. You wanna click the three dots, the show actions button. You wanna hover over the open option, and then you wanna click change default, and that's going to bring up this menu here. Now, if you did want to force Teams to automatically open files in the browser, then you could just go ahead and select browser and click save and it would apply the exact same. Now the alternative way to do this is from the Microsoft Teams settings menu. Now to get to the settings menu, you want to place your cursor over the three dots here and click on this. And then you wanna click on settings. And next you wanna click on the files menu. And you can see here this menu grouping that says file open preference. And again, you can just click on the drop down and switch the default to either open in Teams, open in the desktop app, or open in the browser. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to change the default setting in Microsoft Teams to always open files in their respective desktop application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.